right now there is a war raging in American politics. It's been going on for quite some time, but it's even more exaggerated because it's May 2016. Donald Trump was actually just nominated the presumptive Republican nominee, and Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders are duking it out on the Democratic side. What's very interesting about this situation is Bernie Sanders is a self-declared Democratic Socialist. What does socialism mean? And what are the implications of it? One thing, we're, I'm making this very short video for you to understand a very simple concept about socialism and capitalism. Socialism itself is the philosophy that a man must take care of his brother and that the government facilitates that care by taking from one group of people and giving to another group of people based upon quote unquote need. Capitalism on the other hand is where an individual actually takes capital and applies it in for self-centered means or he does it for his own happiness. But in order to do that, he has to enter into uh, voluntary transactions. So I borrow money or I get money and someone volunteers to voluntarily gives me money to start a hot dog stand. I go and I engage in business voluntarily exchanging money for hot dogs and I repay that person back and keep a profit for myself. That is capitalism. Now, there's a quick saying that government is not the solution, but government is the problem or at least at a bare minimum, a very big part of the problem. With under a socialistic government or a socialism or communism to, the extent, to a large extent, government is large, it is centralized, and it is the predominant power in the marketplace. They dictate literally what happens in the marketplace. Under capitalism, it tends to be supply and demand. Here we have a mixed economy, but it creates this situation where government becomes more of a nuisance than actual help. Give you a prime example, setting up this hot dog stand. Before we were ever allowed to set up, we had to pay any, uh, almost $1,000 in permits just for the right to set up. For various, um, for various, um, admin, for various agencies and organizations in government. Not only that, but we also, when we got here, we found out that there's an arcane code that literally says no sidewalk bending. So now we have to go through this long drawn out legislative process to get the ordinance changed in order to reflect the need that people that we're already feeling and that people already want. So in this instance, government is slowing down entrepreneurship from happening, actually stopping revenue and making it more difficult for businesses to get started. Now, if you can expand this idea from a hot dog cart to a larger business, you can see how government regulation, government license and a permitting structure actually slows down the growth of economy. And so like from this very small example where a hot dog vendor has to come out of his pocket a thousand dollars just for the right to set up, not including hiring anyone, not including product, not including any of these things or equipment, but you add a thousand dollars to his cost just for permission to set up to then sh allowing him to pay it and then shutting him down for violating a city ordinance, you can see how government can be a problem to small businesses. All right, so peace, good luck.